Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use the GIMP's path tool to draw along the path. In another video I showed similar technique, in this video I am going to show a different scenario uh, where the path tool can be used uh, efficiently to draw um, along the path to achieve different result. So, for example, I'm gonna have uh, let's suppose I'm gonna draw a bar. Let's color the bar as this color and fill it up with. You can have any color. Let's fill it up with background. So I have this. I'm gonna copy this uh, into my copy the visible and then it goes to my brush so now my, my brush becomes that now my paint brush select none so now um, let's remove this um, and then now using the paint brush as you can see I can use that as my paint brush now the one which just copied and became my paint brush tool now what I can do uh, as I move my drawing it's not following the contour of the drawing so what I have to do here is to apply the dynamics uh, to the brush let's say tilt angle track direction now it follows the direction of the brushing which is quite good and that's what I want for my part tool let's use the remove now let's draw a so essentially I don't need to use part tool to achieve the same result okay I'm gonna create a path from a circle selection so let's create a circle and then I'm, go I'm going to the paths and then new path selection to path it creates a new path from the selection so now I can show the path this is my path and select the path tool and as you can see this is my path I just created a new path from the selection and then similar steps go stroke path and then a stroke with paint brush stroke I get that kind of drawing but what I want to achieve uh, for my drawing here I have dynamics on track direction and then I can adjust the size if I want and then here go to stroke path and I have to take this one emulate track dynamics brush dynamics which applies the dynamics from the paint brush toolbox and then a stroke now I get uh, the result I was suspecting the brush uh, the stroke was following the path now what I want I want to put some spacing between the stroke like we did with the previous video so now as you start to see what's happening here as we increasing the spacing now we are achieving some good results here it's not continuous so we are not drawing uh, the our paint brush along the path with some spacing so we can achieve good results with this Let's try a different scenario. Draw along this and we're gonna this time draw something else. And now let's draw the same thing, but this time we are going to draw along this path using the same 
and emulating the direction and then we can we have the spacing let's draw it in a new layer create a transparency layer and then going to to the path the one just we draw drew and then stroke path everything same great but let's select a different color for this one green oh uh, so we should oh uh, yeah because we now then we have to uh the color would not be applied so we have to create a new one let's create a new one and copy it to the brush as soon as we copy it it goes to the brush so now we can use that as our brush for stroking with the path stroke now we get this nice drawing along the path let's uh, apply some blending here mood is dissolve uh, color erase erase uh, merge I like the one Let's see what kind of result we can achieve with this which is brilliant so I'm now blending these two together to achieve something completely different um, should be able to move only this one and yeah that's what I want okay so that's all for this video uh, thanks very much